Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to install Osho Gallery to my online Joomla 3 website. Like you can see, I've already downloaded the Osho Gallery component here. Like you can see, this is the download page of the Osho Gallery. Now I'm going to the admin panel of my Joomla website here. This is the admin panel. Like you know the Joomla website's backend, like you can see I have Joomla 3, I can show you that, system information, here we got Joomla 3.3.6 table, I'm now going to install the, the Osho Gallery component, I'm going to extension the extension manager, this is basically how you upload anything, anything in your website, I click on update a, upload a packets file, I click on choose file. I'm going to look for the OCO gallery here. Scrolling down here. Here we got OCO gallery. I click on open. I click on upload and install. And like you can see the OCO gallery is now installed. We're going to look for the component. Let's see. We're going to look for the menu, menu manager. We're going to click on new. Wait, wait a second. We're going to go to the main menu here. We can click on new. We click on select. And then we go to see Osho Gallery. We can select from a couple of items, maybe photos. And now we go just test. We go to click on. Save. And now we've created a map of photos. Like you can see, you also have options. You can change those things. Advanced. You can add an epic key. Page display. Go back to the details. Let's see. Options. See Osho Gallery Home. I go to check. I to refresh. There we got the test here. This is what I've just installed. This is a map of all the photos that you have created, and where the location is where they are taken. It's not what I really have in mind right now. So if I go to details, I can still go to select Osho Gallery. I can, se can select album list, which, which shows all published and active albums. I can click the show photos from Google Plus in new album. And Skin Nano can show photos from Google Place. As a flicker, Picasso and Flickr. I'm going to go for skin, skin premiere to now. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to click refresh. It now shows the images from Osho Gallery that are installed by default. So you can just feel what it can do. And now I'm going to try the skin 
the other skin one here, the skin nano. Click save. Let's see and click save and close or save. Just save. Then we go back to the test file page. Let's see what it will do. Now it shows like a uh, well, photos with a description. This is also a nice way to show your photos. This is also good when you have photos that are not the same size. So, but now I do want to show my own photos in here. This is our, our these are all photos that are installed by Osio Gallery to let you see the example of their their component. So I'm going to do the Google Plus. Google.com I'm going to log in here. Okay. I'm going to images. No, it's not it. I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to see Google, YouTube, Play, Gimu. Google Images. Google Plus. Web. This is the plus Google. There we go. There we go. Yes, Linda. Let me go to the home page. Let's see this. Yeah, no foul. We go back to if we are in Google we go to the photos here. Here we got the photos. This are selfies I've created. All photos. All photos. More. We want to go to the albums and if it's a Jackson website, we're going to go for example for a blanket here. Okay. It says publisher ID here on albums. Let's see. I go to see options, user ID. See if this will work. I click on save. There we go. Public album list, select some options. Like you can see, I have all the published items here. Trying to pass Jackson, I'm going to click on save. I'm going to refresh my page. And it shows like a picture gallery here. And all kinds of pictures from Paris Jackson. It's a nice idea. And it's great for pictures that are not the same. 
So an image size, because I'm going to show you the difference between the the uh, skin nano and the skin the other one. I'll show gallery and skin theater here. I'm going to click save. I'm going to refresh this page. Let's see, it's not really shaved. I'm going to click shave. And I'm going to refresh it. Like you can see, for some reason it's now showing the old page. Okay, I didn't change the number here yet, so I'm going to click on it second. This number I have, I didn't fill it in yet in the page, so I have to fill it in. User ID, click save. I'm going to go to the slide to Paris Jackson, I'm going to click save. And I'm going to show you why you should have images in this audio gallery with the same size. I'm going to show you the right way just by showing it to you. Okay, this is the first image. So far so good. Like you can see, this is another size of image. And because those images are all a different size, you can see that it's a little bit changing. And I'm going to make it make the page somewhat less zoomed in, so that you can see what happens if you use different sizes of images. So in OTO gallery, you should always use images of another of the same size, preferably, and otherwise you just use the skin nano. There, OTO gallery skin nano, and then you check the options because it's changed the number again and then you click save and close and if you like to have something else like an album list in your Osho Academy stuff you go to the album list here and as a parent item I use the test one I click on save and close album list and I click on save and close here okay then I'm going back to the website here the test website refresh the page like you can see there's an album list here now I'm going to click on it and it has now one album, and that's the one I just showed you. You click on it, and you can go back to the page with all the images of Jet of uh, Paris Jackson in it. And once you have, if you add an image to the uh, to the Google Plus album, it will also show on your website. So if you have a list with images. You just you just add the, the album to it, and you can make a lot of you can show a lot of images on your website without it to take space on your web hosting account because it's all all images are basically on Google Plus. I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you'll be back to my channel soon.